Hello, today we are going to talk about RISC and CISC architecture. Instruction set architecture is a set of basic instruct instructions that a processor understands. It acts as an interface between the hardware and software of a system. It also helps compilers and assembly programmers to convert normal instructions to processor understandable language using operational code. There are two types of instruction set architecture. The first is the complex instruction set computing or CISE, CISC, which is used in various complex and large programs in personal computers and laptops. The other type is reduced instruction set computing or RISC, R-I-S-C, used for getting faster results in smartphones and gaming industries and consoles. The first type of architecture is CISC architecture, complex instruction set computing architecture. The main intent of the CISC processor architecture is to complete tasks by using less number of assembly lines. The CISC approach attempts to minimize the number of instructions per program, sacrificing the number of cycles per instruction. So basically in this architecture, the microprocessors can, be, can perform or execute complex instructions in one go. Examples of CISC architectures are IBM 370-168, VAX 11780 and Intel 80486. Characteristics of CISC In CISC, the construction decoding logic will be a complex process. Only one instruction is required to support multiple addressing modes in the architecture. Addressing modes are the ways how to access the data from the memory. For example, accessing directly as data or through memory address. Less chip space is enough for general purpose registers for the instruction that are operated directly on memory. Various CISC designs are set up to special registers for the stack pointer, handling, interruption, etc. MUL is referred to as complex instruction and requires the programmer for storing various functions. Advantages of CISC Microprogramming is easy assembly language to implement and less expensive than hardwiring a control unit. As each instruction became more accomplished, fewer instructions could be used to implement a given task. It is easy to add new commands into the chip without changing the structure of the instruction set as the architecture uses general purpose hardwire to carry out commands. The compiler need not to be very complicated as the microprogram instruction set can be written to match the constructs of high level languages. Disadvantages of CISC The complexity of hardware on chip software included in CISC design to perform many functions. Only 20% of the existing instruction is used in a typical programming event even though there are various specialized instructions in reality which are not even used frequently. The conditional codes are set up by the CISC instructions as a side effect of each instruction which takes time for this setting and as the subsequent instruction changes the conditional code bits, so the compiler has to examine the condition code bits before this happens. Reduced instruction set computer is the second type of instruction set computer. It is a power efficient architecture and hence high portability usage which is used in iPods and gaming consoles. It uses simple set of instructions that are executed within a cycle and hence is a, is a highly optimized set of instructions. RISC reduces instruction cycle at cost of number of instructions per program, which is opposite to CISC, where instructions per program are reduced at the cost of instruction per cycle. Examples, PowerPC, MIPS, ARM. Characteristics of RISC Load store architecture, also known as register register or RR architecture, which fetches operands and results indirectly from main memory through a lot of scalar registers. Other architecture is storage, storage or SS, which source operands and final results are retrieved directly from memory. It has fixed length instruction, which are easier to decode than variable length instruction and use fast, inexpensive memory to execute a larger piece of code. It uses fused or compound instructions which are highly optimized for most commonly used functions. 
then it uses pipelining function which is an implementation technique where multiple instructions are overlapped in execution it has large uniform register sets as you can see in this example risk breaks a simple addition instruction task into four simpler and highly optimized steps it loads operand from first memory address and stores it in register a then it loads operand from second memory address and stores it in register b takes sum of a and b and then stores it into another memory system advantages of risc risc uses highly optimized set of instructions so high level language compilers can produce more efficient code another advantage is that because the instruction set of risc processor is so simple it uses up much less chip space extra functions such as memory management units or floating point arithmetic units can also be placed on the same chip now since risc functions use only a few parameters and the risc processor cannot use the call instructions and therefore used a fixed length instruction which is easy to pipeline and because of the pipelining risc processor often achieve 2 to 4 times the performance of cisc processor using comparable semiconductor technology and the same clock rates in risc very less number of instruction formats a few number of instructions and a few addressing modes are needed we go over to the disadvantages of risc the performance of a, a risc processor depends greatly on the code that it is executing so if the compiler does a poor job of instruction scheduling the processor can spend quite a lot of time waiting for the uh, results of instructions before it can proceed with the subsequent instruction coming over to another problem that depends primarily on the quality of a compiler and the nature of machine machine's instruction set is code expansion it refers to the increase in size that you get when you take a program that had been compiled for a cisc machine and recompile it for a risc machine another problem that is faced by risc machines is that they require very fast memory systems to feed them instructions risc based systems typically contain large memory caches usually on the chip itself this is known as a first level cache so let's talk about the difference in approaches of risc and sysc so on the right side is a diagram representing the storage scheme of a generic computer the main memory is divided into locations numbered from row 1 column 1 to row 6 column 4 the execution unit is responsible for carrying out all computations so let's say we want to find the product of two numbers one stored in location 2 3 and another stored in location 5 2 then store the product back in location 2 3 now coming to the sysc approach the primary goal of sysc approach is to complete a task in few lines of assembly as possible for this particular task a sys processor would come prepared with a specific instruction say mult when this is executed this instruction loads the two values into separate registers multiplies the operands in the execution unit and then stores the product into appropriate register thus the entire task of multiplying two numbers can be completed with one instruction that is given above next is risk approach in risk approach the risk processors only use simple instructions that can be executed within one clock cycle so in this case this mult command described above could be divided into three separate commands that is load which moves the data from the memory bank to register prod which finds the product of two operands located within the registers and store which moves the data from register to the memory banks in order to perform the exact series of steps described in cisc approach a programmer would need to write the code four lines of assembly that are given above that is load a from the memory or address 2 3 load b from the memory address 5 2 product a and b and then store the register a in memory address 2 3 so you see that's the difference between the approaches of risk and sysc so now let's talk about the key differences between sysc and risc sysc architecture gives more importance to hardware as sysc requires integrated hardware to compensate for its complex construction complex coding 
whereas risk architecture gives more importance to software as the software is due to the increasing coding increasing lines of code Com uh, second complex instructions are used in cisc because as the single instruction which are capable of performing multi step operations whereas reduced instructions are used in small uh, in uh, risk because of because to achieve the because to achieve a small task we require a lot of coding third it accesses memory directly whereas risk requires registers fourth coding in cisc processors is simple as cisc is more program friendly whereas risk requires more number of lines as it is more machine oriented as the code is longer fifth as cisc consists of complex instructions it may takes multiple cycles to execute whereas it as risk consists of simple instruction that only takes a single cycle to execute sixth complexity lies in micro program in cisc whereas complexity lies in compiler in risc seventh in cisc it is hard to pipeline whereas in risc it is easy to pipeline so finally we summarize the main difference between cisc and risc architectures that are towards the coding cisc assembly languages is more complicated than the risc assembly languages as risc assembly languages relies on simplicity whereas cisc software is more compressed than the risc as the trade off is that the cisc processor contains more complicated parts to accommodate the complicated assembly language today many computers use cisc and cisc is considered more program friendly while smaller devices such as phones use risc as it conserves more power so now we move on to our last topic modern day enhancement because a number of advancements are used by both RISC and CISC processors the lines between the two architectures have begun to blur in fact the two architectures almost seem to have adopted the strategies of the other today's modern processors are actually using both the architectures for the better output and are the areas of research field one such example is epic explicitly parallel instruction computing so that's it guys hope you understood the topic and liked our video if you have any questions ask below in the comments and make sure you subscribe our channel